flexibility and a lot of smarts going on. Oh, see, I, I prefer keyboard over controller any day. Well, with certain games, as I've, as I've made my case clear, games like this, third-person action games, I much prefer controller, just because that's how I've played third-person action games my whole entire life. But when it comes to first-person games, mouse and keyboard is my way of... is the way I play all the time. I, I could never go back to a controller, unless it's, unless it's a console shooter, then it's whatever. But mouse and keyboard is the way I go for first-person games. Personal preference, though. Personal preference. But yeah, I think I did see that study, Oscar, talking about the uh, the health benefits of playing half an hour of Mario. That's cool. It's really cool. Am I ever thinking of playing 360 or PS3 on stream? Uh, at some point, yeah, maybe. Nice. Um, yeah, at some point, I, there are a few games on PS3 I want to go back to. I want to finish up the Ratchet and Clank series before, well, maybe not even before the new one comes up, but just, uh, I want to get back to some of the Ratchet and Clank games. As well, on 360, I still have another Assassin's game I have to finish, uh, Rogue, I have left, so I have to get to Rogue at some point as well. But that won't be until we get to Unity, because Unity and Rogue came out at the same time, so I'm going to start them at the same time. But, uh, any, like, big grand plans? Probably not. I, I much prefer just to stick with, uh, next-gen stuff, just because I have it, you know? Oh, and we lost the shanty. Not even gonna worry about it. We'll, we'll get a lot of these other shanties later. We're gonna go do the main quest now, though. After I get this. <laughs> Collecting these things is addictive, man. No, 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 stop. And that's one thing I don't like about the Assassin series is the climbing can be so finicky. If you're holding the, the triggers down for a little too long or pointing the wrong direction, as case in point, character will jump off in the completely wrong direction. Okay, climb up. There we go. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Ratchet and Clank too. Been playing it ever since the PS2 days. I remember getting Ratchet and Clank 1 and blowing through that game in the course of like a really short amount of time. I don't remember what it was, but I don't think I played a game that much on PS2 since, well, I played it before Kingdom Hearts. No, 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 I actually didn't. I played Kingdom Hearts before and I put like 70 hours into Kingdom Hearts and that was the first time I'd ever spent more than probably 20 hours in a video game. Probably, probably. I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, yeah, no, no, it's, uh, Kingdom Hearts was a PS2 game I sunk a lot of time into, as well as the Ratchet and Clank series. With one, Going Commando, as well as, not, not so much, uh, Up Your Arsenal. I didn't play that as much. I played, when I played through the collection on PS3, I think it was the first time I ever played through Up Your Arsenal. But, uh, I still enjoyed classic Ratchet and Clank on PS2. I wouldn't sell the 360 just yet, Jeer Bear. Uh, after you buy an Xbox One, because there are a few games that you won't be able to play. I mean, if you just need the money for it, then that, I guess that's one thing, but I would strongly recommend not selling older consoles. I've just always, ever since I sold my Nintendo 64, I haven't been selling my old consoles after that. I mean, I sold my N64, my PS2, and my PS1, and then from that point on, when I realized that a lot of that stuff retains its value, for the most part, <laughs> for the most part, that, uh, I just, I'm not selling my old consoles anymore. Personal preference, though. Just rather, uh, Bye. not oh, sell them. Salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Oh, I can wait. Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig. After a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Adi saved my life. 
And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. We use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up a fortnight back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. All right. I'll see who I can muster. <laughs> you hate the ship level on this? Uh, I know, I don't really care for the boat stuff myself, but... Um, no, going back to what Oscar mentioned, there is backwards compatibility, yeah. Backwards compatibility just hit on the Xbox One, and you can play some 360 games, and that's the thing. That's going to be the key word, though, is some. So if there's a very obscure 360 game you like, I don't know, like, um... I don't know, some, some indie arcade game, or, you know, something like that you won't be able to play it on the Xbox One, most likely. Now, big AAA games, Mass Effect, your Mass Effects, your Bioshocks, your uh, Gears, you know, things like that, yeah, sure, they're going to transfer over to the Xbox One. But if you, even if you look at the Assassin's Creed series, only Assassin's Creed 2 at this point works with the backwards compatibility function. So if you want to ever go back and play Assassin's Creed 1, on your Xbox One, you either have to wait until they release an update for it that supports it, or you're going to be shit out of luck. Basically. I mean, you, you can get the Xbox One... Alright, I mean, you can keep your Xbox 360 for those games, but if you don't care to go back to them, then whatever, I guess you can sell. <laughs> uh, oh, you're keeping some games. Yeah, and that, well, that's the thing, is that not all games are supported on backwards compatibility yet. And I did hear a rumor that Sony was going to do it too, or something i don't know how they're going to because their last two systems the ps2 and the ps3 both had a strange architecture strange cpu architecture for it which made it hard or very very difficult to emulate even the the pcsx one of the top ps2 emulators right now is still a pretty hefty hey there foxy the fan welcome even even the the ps2 since it was such a strange architecture it, it, um, the, the PCSX, uh, emulator still is kind of a hefty program to, to run on any, any modern machine. Just because the emulation to it is so strange. And I, I don't ever imagine that the PS3 will see an emulator. Maybe. I, I mean, I can't say never, but it won't be anytime soon because it was a really, really strange, like, seven core or something processor that was running off their cell architecture. Now, again... A lot, of be, a lot of it doesn't matter <laughs> to, to you guys, because most of you don't care about... <laughs> most of you probably don't care about the architecture made of, of, of how systems run. But it's still uh, very interesting to me. <laughs> you did a 300 subscriber? No, I did not see it. I did not see it. Hey, Mercenary. How you doing, man? Oh, you had to study all week? Yeah, no problem. No problem. I get it. I know that feeling. <laughs> Stupid. Right, there we go. So let's go get some more people. Hello from France. Ooh, welcome. Oh, Oscar, are you from France? I didn't even know that. Cool. So we've had people from Denmark, we've had people from Germany, Sweden, whoa, Norway, I think, even. Um, the States, Brazil. I think someone said they were from Portugal. I don't remember who they said, who said they were from Portugal. France now? Streaming's really cool, because you can get to know people from around the world really, really quickly. Or at least, uh... Maybe not get to know, but just at least know, meet people in an online form. <laughs> Damn, it. Damn it! You killed my crew members, you dicks! <laughs> they didn't even fight back. <laughs> so stupid. I think, yeah, I think Miguel was from Portugal. 
<laughs> the more you know. You'll not get free, Jack! Fall in line! Wouldn't a wind last from a capstan? There we go! Pull me from the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks your hardy. Jack thanks your hardy? <laughs> That's <laughs> the same spot. <laughs> Alright, so we need five more people. That's pretty easy. Yeah, this is why I was kind of mentioning this earlier. If you freed people at the opening area, which I don't remember the opening area's name. But if you, if you freed people at the opening area or saved them from the British, they wouldn't have been a, they wouldn't have worked for you and your crew. Just because it just wasn't set up like that. So, did I just fart over there? What was that? That was weird. There was a really weird noise that happened. Thank you. There you go. Ah, oh, one more. One more. He's dead. Easy or rough, it's your choice. Noise. Go fornicate with the devil, strong soul. Please don't die, thank you. Yo. There we go. Is this game worth it? Uh, I think I think it's kind of cool. Granted, I've always been a fan of the Assassin series, so I'll just say every Assassin's Creed game is worth it. Um. I got it for free though. I got it for for free through Xbox Live, so I guess it, I guess free is kind of worth it. So I mean, I, I have it like if you look at it, this game I've received on PS3 for free, PS4 for free, Xbox One, and I think also Xbox 360 for free. So I have it on every system because this for a while this was just the game they were giving out for free through PlayStation Plus and for uh, games with gold. So. <laughs> uh, free? Yeah, it's worth it. Uh, if you can get it for like 10 bucks, I think it's also worth it. I wouldn't spend anything more than that right now on it though, because it is a bit dated. Uh, I would advise if you've never- I don't come- come If you've never played- If you've never played an Assassin's game- oh, Hang on, hang on. I'm trying to get up there! the fuck? Okay, I goofed that up. Um, yeah, but if you've never played an Assassin's game, or if you've only played one or two, or, you know, whatever, I would advise just getting the newest one. Unless you're like me, and you want to play through every single one, go for it. Go find them all and buy them. Because <laughs> Steam usually runs pretty pretty hefty sales on this series. Captain Kenway, come fast! There's soldiers of Captain Man in irons, they need to hang him! This pirate bears the blood! Of many innocents! I can get him from here! Uh, I'm no warrior. Just a poor workman. Nice! Ow! You dick. Whatever you think I've done, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Am I anonymous now? <laughs> oh, sorry, I just saw the Nintendo thing. Japan, what? Uh, I don't have any Nintendo stuff right now. I don't have any Nintendo stuff right now. Uh, 
I had a Wii, and I guess technically I still have a Wii, but I gave it to my parents, so... Really, I have no Nintendo stuff. A moment more. Well done, Edward. <laughs> What's that guy in the background doing? <laughs> this looks like he's snooping around. <laughs> well, good stuff. So we saved our crew, or uh, some people for our crew. Um... Let's go back to the tavern, see what they see what they got in mind for us. So, yeah, now I don't have any Nintendo stuff. I would like to get a Wii U at some point. I'm gonna actually see if I can pick one up this Christmas, or this holiday. Holiday. Um, just because there are a few games coming out that I want for the Wii U. And also, you know, I've been playing my brothers recently, and it is, pretty, it is a pretty good system. As much as people shit on it, it is pretty good. Uh, especially if, if I get something like Super Smash Brothers and play that on stream, it'd be a lot of fun. 